Here at the David Suzuki Foundation, we're all about science and evidence. We believe when people have the right information, they can make the right choices. Yet some people still doubt the science of climate change. Those folks may be more convinced by what insurance companies and banks are saying. The people who run those big businesses also rely on evidence to make decisions. Evidence tells them that climate change is happening and it's costing us all big time. The insurance industry has been analyzing the serious effects of global warming for more than 30 years. They've watched their payouts rise and more recently skyrocket because of climate change. Until 2009, natural disaster payouts by Canadian insurance companies used to be about 400 million a year. That number more than doubled to $1 billion from 2010 to 2012. By 2013, with Alberta and Toronto floods and extreme winter storms in Atlantic Canada, payouts went up to $3.2 billion. Barbara Turley McIntyre from The Cooperators says this isn't economically sustainable. And what it means for us is that in a five-year period, or six-year period, from 2008 to 2013, our claims have gone up four times. So when you think of how can an organization be sustainable if they're continually paying out at four times the rate, and the way we pay claims is by aggregating the premiums of the many to pay for the losses of the few, the losses of the few are growing to be the losses of more, and yet it's unsustainable to think that either the taxpayer or the insured can pay for it, nor can the insurers. The record-setting Alberta floods alone cost the Canadian economy $4.8 billion in losses. The cleanup bill was almost $2 billion. Banks and credit unions are feeling it too. They're holding mortgages on uninsurable and unsellable homes. Evidence suggests that climate change is bad for the environment, bad for business, and as it turns out, bad for taxpayers. 90% of the Alberta cleanup was on the federal or taxpayers tab. This isn't just about the insurance industry. We're all in this together and we need to enact solutions to build safer and more livable communities for ourselves, our children, and our grandchildren. Our future will not be determined by chance. The impacts of climate change in the future depend on the choices we make today.